So it was here, 30 years ago, where Leicester Comedy Festival began. At De Montford University! My name is Jack Campbell. I'm a stand-up comedian and graduate of De Montford University. Whilst I was here, myself and thousands of other students got their first taste of a proper adult festival between the partnership of De Montford University and Leicester Comedy Festival. This is the sixth year the festival's been staged. This is now the biggest comedy festival in Britain. With more than 150 acts spread across 38 venues. So it was here, 30 years ago, that a junior japester by the name of Jeff Rowe, a DMU Arts and Festival Management student, had a dream. A dream of bringing laughter to Leicester. So little did juvenile Jeffrey know that his brave journey into the unexplored avenues of amusement would have such a lasting effect on the city of Leicester and the students who followed in his footsteps. Let's go ask some of them now. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me. Um, uh, what, do you, what do you study here at DMU? Fashion design. Okay, and uh, what do you think about Jeff Rowe? So, who's that? I don't know who that is. You don't know? No, oh, okay, don't worry. Sorry, excuse me, what, what do you study here at DMU? Cyber security. So, of course, what do you think about Jeff Rowe? Who's that? What do you think about Jeff Rowe? About what? I'm here in the thriving Student Union building. Sorry to bother you there, guys. Just one second, lads. What do you guys think about Jeff Rowe? Uh, I don't know about that. We don't know about that. What do you think about Jeff Rowe? Okay, Jesus, sir. Only man, only but that. Excuse me, excuse me, can you just, uh, can you just stop quickly, stop quickly. Does, does anyone here know Jeff Rowe? What? what? What comes up on Google when you Google Jeff Rowe? We'll find out. Or not. I guess it doesn't want to work. Maybe that's not... a sign we shouldn't be talking about him. It, yeah, it does. <laughs> surely, surely someone. Uh... Has anyone heard of Jeff Rowe? Do you know who Jeff Rowe is? No! Oh. <laughs> this building is home to the Arts and Festival Management course and is where the seeds were first sown for Leicester Comedy Festival. It even smells funny in here. Now I'm going to go talk to someone who I've been told definitely knows who Jeff Rowe is. I'm here with Fern Beard, who is going to tell me what she knows about Leicester Comedy Festival. Well, as a first year student of Arts and Festival Management, we got involved and that was almost 10 years ago for me. Since then I've been doing all sorts of things with the festival, being on the panel, working for them, mm -hmm. and now freelancing, running one of the venues. Um, is, there, is there anyone you'd like to say like thanks to, uh, or anyone who's inspired you over the years for the festival? No, I can't think of anyone. Leicester Comedy Festival started in 1993, which was such a long time ago, all that remains of any artefacts are pictures, an old bucket hat, and some poppers, both kinds. Through all these amazing relics and artefacts we have here, where we can see the beginnings of Jeff Rowe's comedy dream, which has now become internationally renowned. I'm joined here by Catherine from the Archives team, who's going to talk to me about all these fascinating objects here on the table with us today. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Hi. Um, can you talk us through some of these objects while I have a little rummage? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a range of material from the Comedy Festival going back to the very first programmes, photographs, ephemera, props, objects all of which are here for us to take care of them. We were very pleased when Jeff uh, offered it to us because we... Did you say Jeff? Mm. Right. Um, do you know Jeff? No. Right. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. See this guy? This is Tony Graves. Back in 1993, Tony Graves actually had the privilege of sitting near Jeff Rowe while they're at university together. Tony was there for the conception of Leicester Comedy Festival, and like a traumatised child walking in with his parents, he has never really been able to forget about it. <laughs> Tony actually ran the Arts and Festival Management course here at DMU and helped forge the partnership between the university and the Comedy Festival. Tony, can you explain what I just meant? 
Yeah, so the Comedy Festival gives our students countless opportunities to get involved and get that all-important practical experience they need on their CVs. So one of the main things they do run venues as part of the festival and they get to work with amazing names like Josh Widdicombe, Sarah Pascoe, etc. They do stuff like front of house, artist liaison, oh, customer relation, health and safety. You know, all those things that really are going to get them into the jobs when they leave the course. And then lots of them go on to do placements at the conference. OK, oh, thanks, Tony. Great. Fascinating stuff, I'm sure you'll agree. Roll it. So there we have it. 30 years ago, a man called Jeff Rowe thought it would be a laugh to start a comedy festival. Luckily, he had that mad idea at a university who took him seriously. And who's laughing now? DMU has been part of the Leicester Comedy Festival journey from the very start. Millions of tickets and billions of titters later, the partnership is still thriving more than ever with students involved on every level. The skills they learn will help them in careers they want and the festival gains fresh ideas from juicy young minds to keep it as innovative as ever. But the biggest winner out of all of this? Jack Campbell, 2-2, creative writing and English language. And on balance, probably Leicester. Yeah, Leicester. Freezing cold. I'm not even going to bother asking. They don't know. They're not going to know who he is. Waste of time.